You're not there today, Johnny. And like I said the other day, this isn't really about me, you know. It's about the guys that we have out here getting drafted from A&M. But to be a part of it, Christian worked out with me in L.A. a couple weeks ago. I was like, who's throwing to you guys? And then really, you know, to start things off, I need to say thanks to Jimbo, Coach Fisher. You know, without seeing that, I mean, I saw it on Twitter. And for him to just to be like that and roll out the red carpet, especially at a time in my life where I don't feel like I've made a school like uh, exactly proud all the time, for him to be like that and, and uh, you know, I've only met him twice. He, he's been great to me both times. So you know, I want to say thank you to him. Thank you to Christian and the rest of the guys for, you know, allowing me just to come out and be a part of it. I know sometimes when I get involved, it turns into be a little bit about me. And, and it's really not. That's why I said what I said yesterday in the tweet that, you know, this is Christian's day. This is his day. This is the rest of the guys' day that are out here trying to fulfill their dream of getting drafted. And, and I'm just here being a part of it, trying to give them some balls. So how did I feel? I, I, felt, I felt pretty good. Um, I'm continuing to get stronger and get better as this thing goes. But... Obviously, I leave from here and go straight to the uh, straight to the spring league. So, you know, I'm ready to go. I, I haven't felt, you know, this good in a, in a long, long time from a mental standpoint and from a physical standpoint. Um, but I felt like the ball came out really well today. Short on one post that, that'll sit and eat at me for a little bit and one low ball to Kirk. Um, but, but, I mean, other than that, like, it's another workout, another day. How do you think the uh, current Aggies did, guys like Christian Kirk and David Ratliff? I thought they all did really well. You know, I, I, at least the receivers and the running backs we had. I mean, I, I think we only saw like maybe two or three three balls hit the ground the entire time. So, you know, that's all you can really ask for in a setting like that. Here we go. I did tell uh, my agent, my dad, that um, I would like to officially announce that I'm retiring from all pro days moving forward and I will not be doing any more. Um, but it was a lot different. I mean, last time was a circus i mean we had a president here we had you know it was it was it was nuts we had music playing um and it was it was a big ordeal i was in shoulder pads and a helmet like this this wasn't really about me it was about the guys so you know it was it was a lot more relaxing i think we had a little bit of a miscommunication at first where we had our script and we weren't really rolling with it and we were just kind of throwing random routes so um but i think it worked out really well this was a win-win situation for everybody as far as me getting a chance to come throw Kirk getting to catch the balls for me. Everybody wanted to see that connection. That's the one we missed, me leaving and him coming in. So, I mean, um, I, I thought it went really well. Yeah, 100%. And I think it definitely did having, having uh, another quarterback throwing with us, too. I mean, we were sitting there. He makes a good throw. I want to come back in and do the same thing right away. So, I mean, we got along all morning and just met him today. But, you know, he seems like a really cool, really cool dude. Um, I thought we both threw it really well today. And, uh, you know, it does. Whenever I could feel myself when I would get up there after him, you know, making sure I'm letting it fly a little bit more, which for me is better. Because when I cut the ball loose and I let it go, uh, usually I, you know, it, it's I have enough consistency to put it where I want. Johnny, you kind of had a, a couple runs in front of you know post scouts and you know teams are starting to see you a little more. What, what, what feel do you get from your agent or just the people around you about how the NFL is looking at you right now? I blocked it off, so I, I can't do anything. I can't stress about it. I, I all I can do is is make sure I'm where I need to be where I'm at mentally, where I'm at physically, and, and, and when I get a chance to go to the spring league, being there doing the film stuff, getting back into the really, really real football stuff. It's not just coming out and throwing and working out. Like that, That's great. That, that's part of it. That's step one. But then there's the film. There's the coverage. There's everything else that comes with like being in the building. That's what the spring league gives me a little, you know, a little bit of, a practice setting. What's it like when you have five alignment and the tight end connected and you're doing run plays and carrying out your fakes and, and throwing with guys getting covered? So I think that's the biggest thing. So all I can do is really just block it off. Um, and if something pops up, it pops up. And, and if not, you know, and I don't get the opportunity to go back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go play in the CFL. And, and things are going to be fine. And, and one way or another, one day down the line, I'll get back to exactly where I want to be because I'm not going to stop until I do. Do you have a timeline on that? Like, if, Are you going to wait for like a training camp time or do you wait till week one of NFL season before you make a decision? I, I, haven't, I haven't given it a timeline yet. It, it's been focused to get to, to three tomorrow, 328-18, like to get to the first day of practice and get to the spring league. I obviously didn't know this was popping up, so I'm not putting a timetable on it just yet. I, I think we'll feel it out a little bit as it goes after the spring league and, and see – you know, the quarterback market itself has to has to play itself out. There's still a bunch of guys that are unsigned. Johnny, you've been your mental state. What have you been doing to keep where you are? I have a regiment that, that I do that that is for me, 
you know, I, I say this sometimes, but it's equally as important for me, if not more important. I can't do what I want to do football wise if I don't do what I need to do mental health wise. So if, if I'm not going to see, you know, a, a psychiatrist and a psychologist at least a couple times a week, if I'm not going and, and taking my medicine every day that I need to take, uh, I'm not the same person and, and, I, and I see it. So, you know, first things first, I can't be me without doing the necessary steps that I need to do to, to keep my head right. And, and that's just a fact, like it took me a while to like really overcome that and, and, and get where I felt like I was comfortable with it. But when I did, I started seeing an improvement in all aspects of my life and, and, and the people that I have around me um, from from my wife to, to my dad, to my sister, to all the people that I have here with me, my agent, my advisor, everybody like I have a good team around me and I've cut off a lot of the, the leeches that have been around me in my life. And it was it was really needed and really necessary. When you how much get one more time. How much over the last everything you've done over the last few weeks, how much is all of this proof that you want to first Um, you know, like I said, I can sit here all day long. I, I feel like I'm different. I, I feel like I'm doing really well. I feel like from a mental standpoint I figured out what benefits me the most and what helps me. But I can sit here until I'm blue in the face. And until I get a chance to really go out and prove it and somebody gives me an opportunity to do it, it's just all talk. And that's just that's just the fact of the matter. I feel like I'm better. I can sit here and say that all day. But in, until I really get the opportunity and go in and show it day in and day out and, and keep this consistent run of, of good behavior, of, of good health going, then, then, you know, it's all for naught if I don't. But, you know, I'm confident that I will. I, I'm preaching to myself consistency, consistency every day.